What is up, guys? Brad, the budding watch enthusiast, here with you on Watch With Us. Uh, and you guys get to be present for the most difficult watch review that I've yet had to do in my uh, young uh, hobby of reviewing wristwatches. And that is going to be of this Alpina uh, Alpiner X smartwatch. Uh, this is the first smartwatch that I've ever reviewed before. And, uh, and my feelings on this watch evolved pretty dramatically uh, in the time that I had it. So let's get right in to this. Now I do have to mention, of course, since this is a smartwatch, it does require an app and you can find the Alpina app uh, both on Android and iOS. Uh, when you first get the watch, you need to download the app, uh, create an account with Alpina and then pair the watch to your phone uh, using Bluetooth, and that's how you operate it. The cool thing, of course, with it being a smartwatch and having an app associated with it is that it kind of streamlines a lot of the control process. You don't even have to set the time on this thing. Uh, that is, you know, set by the app. The crown actually is completely decorative. The The button here is kind of the action selection button on the watch. Uh, it does turn, but from what I can, everything I've been able to find so far, uh, turning it doesn't really do anything. That's just there for decoration, I guess. And of course, you have these two pushers uh, here on the side of the watch as well that handle a number of different functions. And, you know, calling it the Alpiner X would definitely suggest that this is an outdoorsman's watch. And it's funny because when I first got this watch in, um, the thing that I was immediately comparing it to was kind of like an Apple Watch or your traditional kind of smartwatch. And I quickly realized that that is not really the way that you would want to look uh, at the Alpiner X. This is a watch that is really designed to do some very specific things uh, and do those things really well because this is packed with a lot of features that are gonna come in handy when you're like hiking, um, when you're like mountain climbing, uh, camping. Uh, you can kind of use it as a fitness tool as well, though we'll talk about you know the, the limitations of that here in a second. Yeah, but kind of comparing this to your, to your Apple watches, to your Samsung gears, I don't think is the right tact for this watch because that's how I went into it and I, and I quickly learned that that's really not what Alpina is trying to do uh, with this smartwatch. Now hardware wise it's packed with a ton of different features. It has sensors in here for temperature, barometer, it has a UV sensor, it's got a compass built in, it's got an altimeter built in. You know of course you have a stopwatch on here, of course you have countdown and count up timers that you would expect to find on most digital watches. But having all that hardware in here comes at a cost and I'm not talking about the price, I'm talking about the size of this watch. This is a really big watch. You guys saw the dimensions uh, that I threw up here at the beginning of the review. And considering the use case of this watch, that's probably okay. This is not a watch that you're gonna be wearing as like an everyday wear type of thing. Like I really do feel like that this is gonna be a watch that is gonna be something that you're using for the specific things it's intended to. I wouldn't be going out wearing this watch on an everyday basis personally. Now, of course, the benefit of this watch is from a pure watch aspect, this is actually a really great design. Um, the dial is extremely legible. The digital display on the watch, which you guys have probably had trouble seeing just because how the light affects it, is actually really nicely sized and is able to convey a lot of information. And it's got a really great feature, I think, that when you press the button here on the side once uh, to illuminate the digital display, not only does it light up the display, but it also moves any hands out of the way uh, that would be blocking the display so that you can see it clearly. And then after a couple seconds, it moves them back. I'll do that again, just so you guys can see uh, how that display works. Again, really cool little feature here. The fiberglass case that this watch comes in uh, is very light and very durable so far. And actually the fitted rubber strap that it comes on, it, I found to be extremely comfortable. Something else cool, I really like how the quartz movement snaps the minute hand uh, forward when the minute changes instead of dragging it like you guys just saw there. Now I will say though that the hands, uh, just like any other quartz movement, are subject uh, to a little bit of misalignment, uh, which is kind of frustrating too, because you actually have a feature within the app that lets you kind of tweak the position of the hands in case it does get misaligned. But the even the slight adjustments that you make in there are still too big to get it perfectly on the nose. I kind of wish that that was something that you were able to do. Now, I mentioned this as a possible fitness tool as well, and there certainly is settings within the app to do that as far as tracking like footsteps and heart rate and things like that. But it does require that you provide your own 
heart rate monitor uh, that you would connect through Bluetooth through this watch. Now, of course, Alpina sells one. I couldn't really find one in stock on their website, but when you're spending $1,000 for a watch of this ilk, I would expect them to either include that with the watch or build it into the watch. Now, building into the watch probably would have increased the cost and probably would have increased the size that much more. But again, I don't think that this is gonna be your best option if you're using it for fitness because $1,000 on this, or you can spend you know a couple hundred dollars on an Apple Watch that has the heart rate sensor uh, built into it. And I just think that that's gonna work a little bit better for that need. So at right under a thousand bucks, I think that the Alpiner X is gonna be a pretty good value smartwatch, but only for people that are gonna kind of use the features of the watch to its fullest. So again, I don't think that this watch is going to shine as a daily wear. Um, it shines as a great tool for people that have a really active lifestyle. So if you do, and you're looking for a smartwatch that's a little bit more watch as opposed to wearable tech, uh, this might be something you might want to check out. You might, you might think about giving it a try. Uh, you might find yourself as pleasantly surprised uh, as I did with it. So guys, that's going to do it for my review of the Alpina Alpiner X smartwatch. Big thanks to uh, Watch With Us channel contributor Spanish Rob uh, for loaning this watch into me for the purpose of this review. This is from his personal collection. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button down below. Make sure you're subscribed to Watch With Us. And if you want to see more discussion and reviews from me, uh, check the description for the link to my channel, The Budding Watch Enthusiast, uh, where you can see more uh, from my personal channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you next time here on Watch With Us.